Africa is a vast continent of geographic diversity, making up one-fifth of the world's land area. With 54 countries spread across the continent, each one has its own distinct physical beauty. From flat river plains to towering volcanoes, let's take a look at the point of highest elevation in each of these countries, going in order from lowest to highest elevation. Before we begin, you should know that several of these high points are disputed, with different sources claiming different high points as well as different heights. I'll do my best to be comprehensive and address discrepancies as necessary. I will also be trying my best with the pronunciations of the different place names in this video, but keep in mind that a lot of these can be pretty tricky. With all of that said, let's get into it. Starting us off is the small and very flat country of the Gambia, a narrow country following the River Gambia and mostly surrounded by Senegal. This country has next to no elevation change, and its highest point is somewhat unclear. Some sources state that it's a 53 meter unnamed point somewhere in the eastern portion of the country, while the website peakbagger.com shows it as a 61 meter point on the southern border with Senegal. In any case, the Gambia has the lowest high point of any African country by far, and the biggest challenge to summoning it is its fairly remote location. Moving a bit south to the similarly flat coastal nation of Guinea-Bissau, the highest point here is another unnamed point. The location and elevation of this high point are also somewhat unclear. Many sources claim that it's 300 meters above sea level, while Peakbagger goes against the grain and shows a high point of 262 meters. In any case, this topographic map of the country suggests that the high point is somewhere in the circled area. Neighboring Senegal brings us yet another unnamed high point. The location of this high point is well documented, being found along the Guinea border just south of the town Nepindiaka. It reaches an elevation of around 648 meters. The border follows a small ridge-like feature, one part of the gradual elevation increase that occurs as one travels southeast through Senegal. Benin is the first country so far to have a named high point. Climbing to a modest elevation of 658 meters is Mont Sukbaro, found along the border with Togo. While this mountain is often cited as Benin's highest, some elevation readings show that Tanekas, about 18 kilometers from the city of Natsitingu, has a slightly higher elevation in the 670 meter range. Keeping us in West Africa still is Burkina Faso, whose highest point is Mount Tanakuru, a 747-meter peak found in the far western reaches of the country near Mali. The small town of Tena is located at its base. In the 1970s, a collection of stones was placed at the top of the hill, which reaches exactly 750 meters. Taking a massive detour out to the Indian Ocean, we find ourselves in the island nation of Mauritius. This volcanically formed island reaches its highest point at Piton de la Petite Rivière Noire, French for a little black river peak. At 828 meters, it offers a scenic hike, and a bench named Bench 828 marks the summit, painted with vibrant colors. Back to West Africa now as we head over to Ghana, where we run into an unusual situation. Nearly every source, even Ghana's official tourism site, claims Mount Afaja to be the highest point in the country at 885 meters. There's signage at the peak, and it receives thousands of visitors annually. However, Peak Bagger and some topographic maps indicate that Mount Afaja only reaches 587 meters, and that the nearby peak of Leklata on the Togo border is the true highest point in Ghana, at 907 meters. That's as much as I'll say. Interpret this high point dispute as you choose. We're ping-ponging back to the Indian Ocean again to visit the highest point in Seychelles, Morne Seychellois. Found on the island of Mahe, home to most of the country's population, it reaches 905 meters above sea level and is part of a rugged national park. Up in the Sahara Desert, we find the highest point in Mauritania, Kadiet Ez Gil. This isolated mountain of 915 meters is rich in deposits of magnetite, which gives it a bluish color and its own magnetic field. Togo brings us another West African peak with Mont Agu, the highest point in the country at 980 meters above sea level. It rises quite high up from the surrounding plain, and as such is classified geologically as a monadnock. Many small villages are located near it and on its base, and a trail goes to its summit. Moving down to the Republic of the Congo, we reach this country's high point in a remote stretch of forest in the northwest panhandle. Mont Nabemba is the first peak on the list over 1,000 meters, climbing to an elevation of 1,020 meters. This is one of the most difficult peaks to reach on our list so far, due to its remote rainforest setting. A short distance of just over 100 kilometers away from Mont Nabemba is Gabon's highest point, Mont Bengue. With a barely higher elevation of 1,070 meters, it's located in the remote forests of northeastern Gabon. Although this is a tricky mountain to reach, it's not too far away from the national road of N4. 
Next in line is Mali's highest point of Hombari Tondo, a 1,155-meter mountain rising up from the surrounding scrubland. An important landmark in local religions and a hub for biodiversity, the mountain and the nearby villages face rising pressures from increases in tourism. Another mountain which is part of the vast West African mountain range, Mount Ngawi, is the highest peak in the Central African Republic. It reaches 1,410 meters and is found on the border with Cameroon. This is yet another remote and hard-to-reach summit without much documentation. Many miles west, we venture to the country of Liberia, which is home to Mount Wuteve, the highest point in Liberia, with an elevation in the range of 1,420 meters. Located in the northern section of the country, this is a pretty remote peak, but a small village is found not far away at its base. Our first southern African country on the list, Botswana, has another disputed high point. Some sources claim it's Otse Hill, found very close to the border with South Africa at 1,491 meters, while other sources show the nearby Manalanong Hill to be the highest at 1,494 meters. In any case, Botswana's high point is one of these hills, located just to the south of the capital. Now for our first country on the Mediterranean Sea, we arrive in Tunisia, whose highest point is Jebel Ekambi, a 1,544 meter mountain peak just west of the city of Kasserine. Covered by a pine forest at its summit, there are also several broadcast towers on the various peaks. An ATV route allows visitors to drive up a good portion of the mountain. Back in the West African mountains, we arrive at our first high point shared by two countries. Mount Nimba, or Mount Richard Mollard, is located on the border between Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea, reaching an elevation of 1,752 meters, which is the highest of both nations. It's also just several kilometers from the tripoint with Liberia, which makes it nearly a triple shared high point. Down in southern Africa again, Eswatini brings us its highest point of Mlembe. At 1,862 meters, it's found directly on the northwestern border with South Africa, and is not far from the village of Bulembu. This peak is fairly accessible and offers fantastic views of both countries. And back up north, Mount Bintumani, or Loma Mansa, is the highest point of Sierra Leone, climbing to 1,945 meters above sea level. Found in a forest reserve in the northeast of the country, several hiking routes head to the summit. It's also the first ultra-prominent peak of this list, or in other words, a peak with a prominence of more than 1,500 meters. Jumping to the opposite side of the continent, Djibouti's highest point is found at the tri-point with Eritrea and Ethiopia. Named Musa Ali, it reaches an elevation of about 2,021 meters. Its status as the tri-point between the three nations wasn't settled until 2002. The next Saharan high point on our list is found in Niger, whose highest point is the summit of Mont Bagzan, which has an elevation of 2,022 meters. It's part of the Ayer Mountains near the center of the country. Down in the Atlantic Ocean, we find the nation of Sao Tome and Principe, whose highest point is Pico de Sao Tome on, you guessed it, the island of Sao Tome. This is a large shield volcano rising from the ocean floor, which reaches a peak elevation of 2,024 meters. Back in the Sahara Desert is Libya's highest point, Biku Biti, a 2,266-meter mountain straddling the country's southern border with Chad. An extremely remote mountain found in the heart of the desert, the first documented climb took place in 2005, though it's known to have been climbed before then. We return to southern Africa once again to take a look at Zambia's highest point. The true high point is not known with complete certainty, but a 2014 expedition to the Mafinga Hills, on the border with Malawi, found the peak of Mafinga Central to reach 2,339 meters above sea level. This peak is directly on the border of the two countries. Over in the Indian Ocean is the Comoros, an island nation whose highest point of Mount Kartala is 2,361 meters in elevation. An active shield volcano, it forms part of the Comoros' largest island, Grand Comore. Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, has its highest point in the southeast along the border with Cameroon. Chapal Wadi reaches an elevation of 2,419 meters and is a local destination for hiking and backpacking trips. In the coastal nation of Mozambique, we find the highest point of Monte Binga, a mountain shared with Zimbabwe. With an elevation of around 2,439 meters, it's also the second highest mountain in Zimbabwe. Out on the Horn of Africa is Somalia's highest point, Mount Shimbiris. As part of the Kalmado Mountains, Mount Shimbiris is in a region of Somalia controlled by Somaliland, a currently unrecognized nation. This mountain reaches a peak elevation of 2,460 meters above sea level. 
Jumping back south to the deserts of Namibia, we end up near the coast to visit its highest point, part of the Brandberg Massif. At 2,573 meters above sea level, the peak Konigstein is the highest point of the massif, and the entire mountain is a sacred site to local tribes. Many rock paintings can also be found around the area. Staying in southern Africa, we move east to Zimbabwe. This nation's highest mountain is the peak of Mount Inyangani, a 2,592-meter summit part of the mountain range forming the border with Mozambique. Back to the Atlantic coast, Angola's high point is next in line. Mount Moko, a 2,620-meter mountain in the western half of the country, is the highest Angolan peak. Designated as one of Angola's seven wonders, its ecosystem unfortunately faces threats of unsustainable logging and wildfires. Moving up to the northern nation of Egypt, we run into another somewhat interesting case. The highest point in the entire country is found on the Sinai Peninsula, which is technically considered part of Asia. This mountain is called Mount Catherine, locally Gabal Katrin, and it reaches a peak elevation of 2,629 meters above sea level. In the small and hilly central African nation of Burundi, the highest point is Mount Heha, climbing to an elevation of about 2,670 meters. Several small villages are found around the area, as the mountain has a quite low prominence, and it's a hiking destination for the country. Off the coast of West Africa, we find the Atlantic island nation of Cabo Verde. Made up of many volcanoes, the highest of these is Pico do Fogo, which towers above the ocean at 2,829 meters above sea level. This is an active volcano and most recently erupted during 2014 and 2015. Following Cabo Verde is another island nation, this time in the Indian Ocean. Madagascar's highest peak is Mara Mokotro, reaching 2,876 meters above sea level. Found in the far northern section of the island, it's a climbing destination which offers guided expeditions. The order of the next two countries depends on the true elevation of Algeria's highest point. Mount Tahat, located in the southern region of the country in the heart of the Sahara, is shown to be 2,908 meters by some sources, and 3,003 meters by others. If the latter is true, that makes it one meter higher than Malawi's highest point. Speaking of Malawi's highest point, it's Sapitwa Peak, the highest peak of the Mulanje Massif. Rising up 3,002 meters in elevation, well over 2,000 meters above the surrounding plains, it's found in the southern reaches of the country near the border with Mozambique. It's back to the ocean once again, where we find Equatorial Guinea and its highest point of Pico Basile, located on the island Bioko. Part of the Cameroon line of volcanoes, its last eruption was nearly 100 years ago in 1923. Once again, we are running into another ordering issue from elevation disputes. Sudan's highest point is the peak of the Dariba Caldera, located in the southwestern area of the country. Sources indicate that the elevation is either 3,012 meters or 3,042 meters, the latter of which would make it higher than neighboring Eritrea's high point. And moving east to Eritrea, the highest point of the country is listed at 3,018 meters above sea level. Mbaswara, part of the Great Rift Valley and the Eritrean Highlands, is reached via a dangerous dirt road from the nearby city of Sanafe. Heading southwest to the new country of South Sudan, we find their highest point of Kinyeti. Climbing to an elevation of 3,187 meters above sea level, it's part of the Imatong Mountains, which are located near the border with Uganda. Notably for my fellow Americans watching along, this is the first peak over 10,000 feet on the list. Back in the Sahara Desert, Chad's highest point is the volcano Emi Kusi, climbing to an elevation in the ballpark of 3,415 meters above sea level. Due to the nature of this volcano and its geologic environment, it's been studied extensively and has been compared to Martian volcanoes. With that, we've made it to the final 10 mountains of the list. Kicking us off is South Africa, whose highest point is Mafadi, a mountain located on the border with Lesotho. Its elevation measures in at around 3,451 meters above sea level, and it offers some rugged hiking routes to the summit. Next up, we cross the border into Lesotho, where we find its highest point of Tabana Ntlanyana, a mountain peak of 3,482 meters not far from the South African border. Its name means beautiful little mountain in the local Sotho language. Our final island high point is somewhat of an honorable mention. The highest point of the Canary Islands, a part of Spain, is the volcano Teva, 
which reaches an elevation of 3,718 meters above sea level. Although Spain is a European country, I excluded this mountain from the European High Points video, since the Canaries are geographically in Africa. In any case though, this is a truly impressive volcano, and it's one of the tallest volcanic structures on Earth. Back to the Cameroon line, and this time we're on the mainland in, you guessed it, Cameroon. The very aptly named Mount Cameroon is the country's highest point, soaring to 4,040 meters above sea level. Interestingly, an annual foot race takes place at Mount Cameroon, called the Race of Hope. The last North African country on this list is Morocco, home to the Atlas Mountain Range. The highest peak here is Tubkal, a 4,167 meter mountain south of Marrakesh. This is a quite popular mountain to ascend, and a pyramid-shaped marker sits atop the summit. Returning to Central Africa, Rwanda's highest point is Mount Karasimbi, a dormant volcano shared with the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which reaches an elevation of around 4,519 meters. Its forested slopes are home to gorillas, and it's a popular destination as a result. Over on the Horn of Africa again, we head to Ethiopia, whose highest point is Ras Dashen. Reaching an impressive elevation of about 4,543 meters above sea level, several pastoral villages are located nearby, about 1,000 meters lower in elevation. The countries of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo share the same high point, Mount Stanley. Located on the country's border, it's also the third highest mountain in all of Africa, towering 5,109 meters above sea level. It's also known as Mount Ngaliema and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The second highest mountain in all of Africa is found in the heart of Kenya. Mount Kenya, at a soaring elevation of 5,199 meters above sea level, is the country's highest point. Interestingly, the country of Kenya takes its name from the mountain. With 11 rapidly shrinking glaciers and many endemic species, it's a fragile yet beautiful ecosystem. With that, we have just one high point left. The highest mountain in all of Africa is the world-famous Mount Kilimanjaro of Tanzania, an immense peak soaring to 5,895 meters above sea level. It's the fourth most prominent peak and the single highest freestanding peak on Earth. A very popular climbing destination, it generates millions of dollars of revenue for the local economy. It's also a site for extensive scientific research, given its fast-melting glaciers and varied vegetation. This is truly one of the most stunningly beautiful and unique mountains mountains anywhere in the world. That concludes our High Pointers tour around the African continent. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was interesting, and I'll see you next time with more geography and GeoGuessr content. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, and until next time, have a great rest of your day.